Good morning. It is 518. Headed to the gym as always. Today is an upper body workout. On the screen, I've asked chat to give me a little bit of a uh, revitalized workout. Taking the kettlebells away, adding into some dumbbell work, as well as what is that? Something in the road. As well as some bench machines. We have a number of, of bench machines, wide grip, narrow grip, incline, decline, and then just a regular standard bench press. So I went through and asked him to do that. We have 10 exercises, a warm up. I'll probably do more along the lines of 15. That's what I've been doing, 15, 12 to 15 exercises, but typically 15 exercises. So that'll take us about an hour 45, I think. That's gonna be our morning this morning. So, excited for that. Still trying to put on that pound, pound and a half of muscle. We'll see how likely that is. Get my pre-workout this morning. And that's about it for me so far. I'm gonna get in, get the work done, get back out. When I do that, check in with you guys, see where the day takes us today. Let's go. done heading back we got a call at eight o'clock so i might have to delay the shower just a little bit Ooh, so 7 40 like i said it was uh about an hour and 45 minute workout started with that arc trainer 10 minutes and then we did our 15 sets of exercises um worked up a nice little sweat today drank my whole my water already. I think I was a little dehydrated from last night, yesterday's run. Probably should have had a little bit more water even though I had over a gallon. You really have to pay attention to the amount of sweat throughout the day. So heading back, have a few phone calls this morning, early. And I'm sure I'll, I'll rinse off and I know Jules and I are headed back to the pool at some point today. That's usually our mid-afternoon cool down, if you will. Get UV and be in the water. So that's a nice little daily routine that she and I enjoy. That's about it. Checking in. I'm going to sign off here. 
kind of hurriedly walk back to the house and get actually not get showered off. I don't think I'll have time to shower off, but it's not a video call, so that's okay. Get back, take my calls, check back in with you shortly. I'm a little out of breath. Ooh, good workout today. Good workout today. See you back shortly. Somebody bees, mom. Hey, baby. Who's a good dog? I get that. Abra. Abra, come back down. Come back down. Yeah, good girl. Who's a good girl? I think it's you. I think it's you. <laughs> Guys, I have finished my mochila bag. In order to make the pattern finish, it's actually a bit deeper than I originally wanted it to be, but I think that's fine. I can put lots of things in here. I braided myself a little drawstring so that I can close it, and I'm, I have one more thing to do. I'm working on the handle. I don't have a needle so that I, I started the handle from the bag, but I'm going to have to sew it to the other side of the bag when I finish it. But uh, I'm just kind of freehanding this to see how long I want this handle to be and my mochila bag will be done. I'm so pumped. Took me a little bit over a week and I'm super proud of it. I love the colors. I think they pop. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So cool that I was able to learn how to make one of these while in Colombia. And then after looking on the internet, you can pretty much, I mean, there's like zillions of patterns for different ways to make them out there. So I'm probably gonna be making more of these just because I had so much fun. A really fun little project. I'll show it to you when it's completely complete, handle and all, tie the little bow, but right now, pretty much, pretty much, it's pretty much done. All right, 2.30 UV time. You know what time it is. I am committed to no more uh, weather, temperature, and UV updates <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's become an obsession now that I have to say it every day and I need to break that habit. Should I, I look? Nobody cares, nobody asks. <laughs> but I will okay. say, I will say I did look, I'm just not going to report here, but okay. it is exactly the same temperature here uh -huh. as it is right now in Indian Harbor Beach, Florida. And the UV number is exactly the same. So we are. It's hot me. today. There, I can feel the Ooh. UV already. We've been out here for like it's less than two minutes. It's a very hot one today. No yeah. breeze whatsoever. Uh, we've been looking forward to the pool for hours. Michael has been working so hard. Uh, oh my God, your job lately. Your job lately. Hey, he's been so busy. So he hasn't really been responding to any of the comments i have been keeping him updated on everything everyone is saying um and our progress on our little youtube channel but if you haven't heard from him in the comment section it's because his That's job why, has been yeah, so yeah. busy um but why he hasn't been updating that much either but um, hopefully it'll be back um maybe by the end of next week i'm thinking maybe it'll slow down mm -hmm. it's that weird thing you know um anyway end of, it, the yeah, transition between quarter two and three has just been a nightmare. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, when you kind of do those cusp months. We haven't heard from our Aunt Cindy, but the work got done this morning. It took longer than the dentist thought it would, but mm. she's feeling she's feeling okay. Don't envy her. She'll be on the, I believe she's on the bus back now. I, okay. I don't know if she made the noon bus. If uh -huh. not, she's on the two o'clock bus. But either way, she's on in route back home now. Uh, says she's feeling fine. Um, but I haven't heard from her for a few hours. So okay. other than that, we just work, work, work. I am completely caught up on YouTube yeah. again. I'm even caught up on comments. I spent a good amount of this morning watching, our friends. watching all of our friends, yeah. which uh, a few weeks ago, I introduced you to a lot of our small channel YouTube friends and I got caught up on all their videos. East Florida Explorer is, he posted a series of videos about an abandoned ghost town in Florida that was really oh. cool and some cemeteries that were awesome. And okay. The Adventure Lees posted kind of a little bit of a why we started a YouTube channel video that I thought was super interesting. I really enjoyed watching that. Um, Z, reviewing a bunch of movies. I watched a couple of them. And uh, I, we're not really into movies these days. We don't watch a lot of movies, but I do it's, like hearing people talk about movies. Yeah, it's it's harder down here. I don't know if we ever yeah. talked about that. but That is something we need to talk about, yeah. The movies. There's, yeah, so so there is a way to watch English um movies the problem is depending on how large the movie is like how big the opening is you might only have it come out with spanish audio and there's no english subtitle i can't watch a voiced over movie right. i can't do it or there is english like it would be original audio 
with Spanish subtitle. So we have to log on, find our location, um, specific location, and then look through the movies that are available, and then look through the movies that are available with SUB, it's the three letter you're looking for. You're looking for subtitle to indicate this is an English movie, English audio with Spanish subtitles. Yeah. So that makes it extremely difficult, and there's usually only one or two that you can find that in. So, that's so we haven't been going to the movies. When you put in all those parameters, yeah, exactly. When you put I them cannot on. watch a movie that's been voiced over. It really bothers me. Well, it gets on my nerves. Voiced over in Spanish is another layer. Well, I'm talking about a movie that was originally in English that they voiced over another language. I can't watch that. I absolutely can't. And then that reminds me of the old kung fu I movies. I get exhausted trying to watch an entire movie by reading the subtitles. So, I'm already picky. I know it. This adds another layer of picky. So. I'm super in the mood to go to the movies, but there have been so few that came out that met my qualifications. <laughs> well, and then that, they, they haven't been movies I wanted to see anyway. Movies that we do want to see that might be on the TV, you, or I mean, on online. You see, last night it depends on what country you're I know, in. I know. So it's like we have our hands tied for us. So. Oh, I can't tell if my phone overheated or if it's still recording. I see the seconds. You see the seconds? Yeah. I can't see them. <laughs> I can't even so, see if yes, we're in frame. It just, um, it's just not been. Very yeah. conducive to movie watching, but we still look. I look every week, and I tell her what's available in English, and we make the decision based on that. So I'm so in the mood to go to the movies. I am too. I am I too. Don't I don't know wish. why this never happens to me back home. The one that that has been on is uh, the Bad Boys. They must yeah. love it down here. It's been on a while, and it does have English. But I look. I watch the original. I'm good with that. All right, my arm is killing me. Okay, we got to wrap. This That's up. our check in. <laughs> We're gonna get some UV. All right, we've had our UV, we're drying out, and we realized we didn't buy any food yesterday at Eggs Toe to eat today, so going out to eat is our option. Because I'm not going back to the grocery store. <laughs> this is uh, Toro McCoy's, right? We've been talking about that since the day we landed. Because uh, it's a very attractive looking building with a big, yeah. we a big ride past it constantly, big golden bowl out front. So they have a very wide array of different meats, and I just found Julius Tomahawk. It is 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams? That's almost two pounds if you count the bone. How much is it? You guess. 150,000 pesos. More or less? Way more. Way more? 200,000 pesos. Way more. 300,000 pesos. Way more. 400,000 pesos? A little more. How much is it? 450,000 pesos. So over 100 dollars. 110, 20 dollars. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Good. Okay, well, I'm not getting that. <laughs> it's got gold flake on it. I'm not getting that. But you did find a carnivore ringing that looks, sounds like it's a uh -oh. split for two. Hang on, guys. There is a burger they have here that has 24 karat gold flake on it. It has 24 karat gold flake. Okay. It's How much is it? In 20, can can How you much see is, that? I don't know camera? if you can see it or not with the sun glare. Okay. How much is it? How much? 300000 All right, so less than 100 bucks. Yeah, but it's a burger. I know. And then there's a big array of burgers here that look good. I don't know. I think we should Tell go. me about the dish that you saw that made me decide this yes. is where I want to go. It's like, basically it says, we have it all. And the all is uh, beef, I think a whole chicken, shrimp, chicharron, and I believe some uh, papas fritas, some okay. potatoes on the side. I want to go get that right now, today. Okay. Meat, 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 meat. Okay. <laughs> this is Toro McCoy. Yes. It looks like there's a lot of good things on here, though. Their burgers seem to be about what we pay. Okay. 34000 ish Yeah. <laughs> I just see those little white teeth going one side and then go the other. I'm gonna pin it. One, two. I've been tossing like some rabbits, so. Afraid. Yeah, he says you're down in the middle of the ground to go with it.
All right, pardon my wet hair. <laughs> we decided to hold off on that restaurant for now. We will try to take the vlog there at another point in time, but Michael and I got to thinking it's more of a date night kind of place, and this is a Wednesday night. We would prefer to go maybe on a weekend. Yeah, the two of a us have night. a nice little date night. Um, but while we were talking to Marshall and Mari about wanting to go there, Mari recommended another place that she said Marshall really likes called La Matriarca, uh -huh. which has a lot of meat on the menu and a lot of it is like traditional Colombian style food in addition to some other Colombian foods that we have had and we really Tropical, like. Tropical, yeah. Tropical type food. So Marshall, <laughs> Marshall really likes this restaurant. So we think we're going to give it a try. It's close enough we could walk there, but we're probably going to get an Uber. I think it's, it's 10 blocks. 10 blocks, yeah. I think we'll get an Uber. It's been another super hot one. We did just shower. We don't want to have to shower again. <laughs> it's been another super hot one without much of a breeze. Yeah. It seems like the last few days have been scorching hot with no breeze, and then as soon as the sun goes down, it gets super windy. <laughs> uh, so the sun isn't down yet, as you can see. We're probably going to at least Uber there, possibly walk back. I'm excited because I'm definitely interested in trying some, or at least seeing a menu with more traditional Colombian food. Yep. And uh, that's my little update. Marshall and Mari went to the gym afterwards. I think they're going to the movies. But like we said in the pool, was that today or yesterday? I don't recall. Uh, that was today. That was today. <laughs> we were saying we were looking. There's nothing we want to see. There are movies oh. um, that are dubbed over, but nothing Tonight currently in English. Is like discount night. Tonight. Yeah. Which, you know, back home is usually on Tuesdays, but it's like it's Wednesday here. half price or something like that for tickets. There are very few movies in English, none of which we have any interest in seeing. No. But <laughs> they're going to go see something. So uh, My Aunt Cindy is back. All of her dental She's work back. is done. Yep. She's a little tender. Not really in pain, but tender. She so many shots. So says. many shots. <laughs> She's eating uh, soft eggs and... Uh, I think she's going to be all right. She goes next week to have all the crowns. They'll be 3D printed and they'll be put back on her on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So, yay for her. I'm so happy the worst I mean, is yeah. over. I'm glad she got all that knocked out in a day. That's my goodness. She said the hostel that she stayed in was super nice. She didn't eat anything the whole time she was gone. So, oh she's goodness. very hungry now. But uh, the hostel was nice. The dentist is nice. She had a great experience. No problems getting back home. I'm really proud of her. That's great. Yeah. Yep. That's, uh, we're just going to walk this dog around the block for her evening little stroll. And then we are going to go try to find I'm hungry. La Matriarca. We have an Uber on the way. A... I think it might be the guy that picked us up yesterday. It's a it's a gray Renault <laughs> quid. Didn't we just get in a gray Renault? Where did we go in a gray one? They're all gray. Yesterday. I think it's the guy that picked us up yesterday. It looks like his picture. <laughs> I might have to cancel it. Where did we go yesterday? Oh, Exito. Exito, yeah. Remember that time we got the same driver twice in one day? I don't think there's a whole lot of Uber drivers. In oh, is this the cranky guy that tried to cancel our ride? I think it might be. <laughs> we didn't tell the vlog that story. Yeah. We, uh... We were well within the five minutes, but if you remember, we were running through the parking garage because Uber told us to meet somewhere we had never met before. Yeah. Had no idea. There's a whole uh, quick service, quick taxi ride. Lane yeah, taxi lane. We had <clears throat> never been told to meet there before. But we were there in well under the five minutes, but he pulled up, didn't see us, and immediately canceled the ride. And we're like, absolutely not. <laughs> I was pulling on the door. Only one door worked. I was not in the window. So we paid it in cash. We paid him more than the Uber ride would have cost in cash, but he was, yeah. he was upset about it. It is him. It's LRU. Him. I remember. Oh Must be a one-way, I guess. This is not a one-way street. This is a two-way street. I know this one is. I don't know. It is him. I remember now. LRU. Yep. Yeah. Oh, boy. He's going to be like, surprise, those kids again. Do not cancel. Our you know what? We're going to let's just go ahead and get right out here so he doesn't, right, pull, so up he doesn't pull up and, and think we canceled the ride, okay? That's not it, is it? No. Which way is he coming? That way? Well, now uh, I think he's coming that way. All right. We got gray, white, and then another white behind that. Three grays in a row. Black, white. Taxi doesn't count. Gray. <laughs> he saw you videoing and, and said hi out the window. Oh, he did? <laughs> yeah, one of the guys in the truck. He said hi, and I looked at him and smiled. Oh, I, I, I missed that. I did not even see. Yeah. 
I'm going to feel bad when I edit this video and I see that footage. I'm going to feel bad when I edit this footage and I realize I ignored his high. There he is, LRU. I don't know. I feel like... But it was an LRU. I remember that for sure. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> Oh, thumbnail. corner where Big Bites is. Nadia and I went there last week. It was a pretty good burger, but it holds no candle to Porthos or my new favorite, Camachos. This is what this place looks like inside. It's so much nicer than I expected. Do you feel accomplished when you get through an order? Yes, you can understand because I can what? now officially place my entire order yeah. in English. <laughs> the problem is, then they start asking me questions to clarify about my order There's in like Spanish. There's like five different potatoes they offered you with your steak. <laughs> yeah, and I heard patacones, and I'm like, I don't know if I would have liked any of the other options better, but I know I like patacones. <laughs> yeah. We are all set up for a band in here, but... It's beautiful. We're here about 5.30, so we're a little bit early for a party. This is an absolutely beautiful restaurant. It is, yeah. I really like these chairs. They remind me of my sombrero vuelti out. Oh, yeah, kind of. One of these days we have to film ourselves ordering in Spanish and see, let people I laugh agree. at us. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think so, too. Agua sin gas and Maybe, agua uh, con gas. The next time we go to the hamburguesa, we'll get a, uh, a hamburger. Yeah, well, at least we know that they speak English at our favorite hamburguesa <laughs> place, so if we <laughs> yeah. have to clarify anything, we can do that. But. And I think that um, the uh, Camachos know us well enough that they'll recognize us when we come in the I next know. time. I know. They were like, didn't we just see you the other day? I'm like, yes, be honest. two gringos, yes. <laughs> see, that was us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got her mango hugo. You know, I couldn't re resist. Uh -huh. mango. It's, in, it's in water, so I'm not going to like it as much as if it was pure mango juice. But it looks a little more elevated. No, I do. It tastes like pure mango juice just with a little bit of ice in it. I thought it was going to be blended with uh -huh. water. Maybe very little water. I'd rather have this than dessert. Yeah. You want to try the mango? Yeah, I'll try it. But also, with my water, he asked if I wanted lemon, and I think he brought some like lime juice to put in here. I'm sorry, remember, he asked if I wanted lime, and I think he brought lime juice. Yeah, limon. Lima, lime, yeah. I, but I think it's I think it's juice. But yes, I'm gonna. If you want to taste? You better try. Okay, it. I'm not a juggler. Uh, okay, might need a uh, dose. Uno mas. Well, Michael just learned a lesson the hard way. <laughs> well, can you see how much lime juice they put? Fresh squeeze, I can tell. So lime, can, not lemon. Lime. Lime. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I had to cut it with a little bit more water. <laughs> it's intense. <laughs> it is intense. Um, but it's really good. It adds more than just like an accent, you know, when you get sparkling water with like a lime or a lemon wedge. This is real stuff is here. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Agua con gas. See? All right, this is the first thing we ordered, which is croquetes de... We think it's the things we ordered at El Tropical, so like blue cheese. I think pockets. it's a cheese ball. Here, cut into one. Let's see what okay. this is. I don't know what's underneath of them. It looks like an onion ring, doesn't it? Is it? I don't think it is. Uh oh, babe. <gasps> oh, they're meat. Oh no! I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be cheese. It's okay. There's no onion in that. I just tasted it. Okay. I think that's why they've given us like little onion rings underneath it to eat it as a pairing. Okay. I don't need onions. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's not I your fault. Was, let me let me try this sauce. We thought there. they were fried cheese balls <laughs> because that's what what they look like on the menu. It's like fruit juice and salt. Take a bite, see what you think. Okay. Good? You'll like them. Mm -hmm. I will? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you I think? I really do like them. Um, they're not what I thought, but they're full of beef. Full of beef? No, onions actually. Yeah, and these are not. Yuka. Yeah, this is yuca. The rings are yuca, and they're mm -hmm. really good. Very, very good. Yeah. Have you tried the sauce? No. Is it sweet? What is it, like raspberry or something? It pairs well with it. It is fruit. Almost like a wine reduction or um, with a little bit of fruit or something. You like it? It's good, but I don't like it with this. Oh, okay. Um, but I like these. Yeah, lot. these are good. Yeah. 
winner. Score for the first uh, course. There's the word. <laughs> All right, this is my churrasco with three patacones. We can put the salad to the side. I am not going to touch that. <laughs> it does look appetizing, though, but I don't want And this is Michael's. The mote de queso. I had this soup in San Andres. Awesome. Yeah. Half of an avocado, some rice. Um, I have a plantain and some chicharron over here. Gracias, senor. And I think this might be some suerito, and I'm not sure what this is. You try it with your knife. <laughs> It's savory. It? it's savory. I thought it was going to be fruity. Try your cheese soup. Ooh, I think yeah. mine's too hot to eat yet anyway. They brought okay. it out on an iron plate here. <laughs> okay. Un buen apetito. Gracias. Oh, gracias. Everyone's so nice here. I know. Ooh. It's like having a gravy. Oh, that looks like a, almost like a chowder. I know. Cheese soup. Queso moto. Is it good? Oh, is it it's good? It's a little, a little salty, <gasps> but I mean in a good way. Like it's, it's. Oh, I want right to try it. I want to try it. I want to try it. Okay. Here, I'll film. You. Okay, Julie's gonna die. She loves salt in her she stuff more food. than I do. It is a little bit hot. That's like lamb chowder, but with cheese. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. It's really, really good. good stuff. Yeah. Joey asked for some salt. They weren't kidding. <laughs> oh, she's ready to cut into it. I think she got it. Did you get it medium rare? Medium. Okay. Will that do? Yeah. You want to try it in the in the uh, chimichurri? No, I don't really like chimichurri. No. Okay. So that's a win too, huh? The teacher's wrong. The chicharron is excellent. They tell you in the tropics that they eat soup right in the middle of the day, the hottest part. That was so foreign to me when Julie told me that. Because it's so that. hot. But it's, it's so good. I won't say it cools you down, but it does not make you hotter. I don't know yeah. if Julie would agree with that, but it, it's, it's so good. I think this is the best piece of roll we have had yet. Mm. It is. Every bit is almost, almost as good as the homemade teacher roll that Nadi's mm -hmm. mom makes. But as far as teacher roll we have bought at a restaurant or on the street, this is by far the best. It's crispy, crunchy, and um, fatty. It's perfect. All right, editing Julie, let's do some math. That was what the bill came out to. And I'll put it here on the screen what that is in U.S. dollars for three waters, one with gas, two without, a mango juice, an appetizer, I had one water home gas. Yeah, I, I counted that. And then the I had a steak and you had a soup. So I think that's a fantastic price. And we got a dessert to go for my aunt. Three waters, a mango juice, an appetizer, what, two what entrees, say? and a to-go dessert. Just texted Marshall and Mary to tell them, thank you so much for the great suggestion. Yes. They're on their way to the movie. And Mari said this has been uh, one of Marshall's favorite restaurants in Colombia since he found it six years ago. And the, uh, I don't know if it was the owner or the manager, told us there is actually one in Miami. Yeah. And we told him we live about three hours away. Yeah. Uh, north and If Melbourne. you're from Miami, look for this place. It is yeah. fantastic. Uh, I thought I was taking a photo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a I need a thumbnail. Smile.